I made this relative to the Verizon email transfer over to the AOL platform as a tutorial. Um, go to Mail, Application, come down, go over to Preferences. In Preferences, click, click the plus sign. Do not click right here where it says AOL. That will not work. The reason why that will not work is, is that's going to be um, using an automated program that will try to set the AOL mail up as a pop server. Uh, we don't want that uh, because we're going to be actually setting up Verizon um, email that is going to be um, in service at the AOL company, but it's not going to be set up that way. So we're going to go down to where it says other mail account. We're going to click continue. Right up here it says name. You want to put in, uh, generally just put in your first and your last name. All right. And then what will happen is that'll be up uh, strong on the left of the mailboxes. Uh, here you're going to put in your email, whatever it, it is at Verizon. Be your first, your last name, and then the .net usually. Enter. Do not enter your password. If you enter your password, it will just come back saying that the user account's already used because it is. Yeah, Verizon.net is used over the Verizon server. We're trying to build it into the grabbing it off an AOL. So uh, right here, you just want to default and uh, type in. Uh, Two letters on the keyboard or something like that, to, just to say you have a password there. Definitely do not put in the password. Click sign in. And this should come back saying that it failed and give us the secondary screen with more data we can enter. And see why it failed. And the reason why it's going to fail is it's self-evident because we didn't fill it in that way. So here, uh, right here, at this time, you can erase right there the default, uh, the default we put in just to get to this screen. Now you can enter your password for your Verizon.net email, the one that you put in on the AOL account when you set it up. Here it says POP server. We don't want that. We're going to go use an IMAP server. Here it says pop.verizon.net. That was when the Verizon email was at the Verizon.net service. Here we're in the AOL, so we're going to take that out. Stop there. We're going to go pop.aol.com. And then down here, we're going to go, uh, this is the, um, excuse me, this is, we're going to do this, yeah, SMTP. So here we're going to do aol.com. And then up here, um, where it says the incoming mail server, you want that IMAP, because we don't use a POP server. We're using the IMAP, which I just put up here under the account type, IMAP, IMAP, AOL.com, SMTP, AOL.com. Now if you hit the sign in, you'll be able to sign in, and then it will load the mail for you. And then if you click done, it'll complete it. You're all set.